Don't be nervous. You're gonna love this job. I am nervous. I can't just not be. Well, then don't act so nervous and stop chewing your nails. Oh, you're being very imperious today. Maybe you're the nervous one. I had to pull in a big favor to get this job. Since I happen to know you have a taste for this type of thing. Hey! There's my new protege. Hi, you must be Tilly. Rogers tells me you're a big fan of my work. Our other guy, Drew, he works even days. They can work odd. Well, I like odd things, so. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy to help out my favorite detective. And it just so happens I have his favorite order already. Well, if that's how this works, might have to drop her off more often. You might. Because I have a feeling she's going to do great. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you go home and I will call you as soon as Ronnie gets back, okay? Okay. Who was that? That was, um, Lucy, a friend's kid. She was working on a school project and I was helping her. But you were doing inventory? I was doing both. Oh, enough of the third degree, please. Mom, what the hell is going on with you? I came back because you said on the phone that you made all of these big life changes. But now that I'm here, you're all closed off. Honestly, I don't even know why you wanted me to come back. Look, I just need you to be patient. OK, then help me understand. Why are you working at the bar again? What happened to San Francisco and your job and the wedding? Just stop interrogating me. You're impossible. Do you know why I left in the first place? Because you and I, we've never been able to communicate. That's not true. OK, go ahead. Prove it. This is your big chance. Tell me what's going on with you. I can't. Just not now, but please be patient. You know what? I am done being patient with you. All I've ever done is wait for you to change. You know what? I never should have come back. 